Hi everyone, it's Rich here from Mammoth Journeys. Today we're going to do a video review on the Thule luggage that we've been using for the past few years. Um, we've had a bit of a range of products from them. Um, Thule aren't particularly renowned for their luggage. Um, however, if you were thinking of getting this sort of stuff, I think it's uh, a good way to let you know some of the good stuff, some of the not so good stuff, and just another option for you to pick. Um, we are partnered with Thule, and we've done some video reviews uh, about their kit in the past. They've not asked us to do this video, uh, we just think it might, might be quite helpful for you. So, the first one is the Storm Shield Handlebar Bag. So we've been using this for the past three years now, this actual one, and it's really, really good. So, it attaches onto the front of your handlebar using the little mount there on the front, rolls up and clips into there. It's one big open, uh, basically, bag with a little zip compartment in the back, which we don't really use that much. Given the material's nice and solid, keeps it waterproof. It's got a little viewing uh, plastic thing you can see through there, so for your cycle computer, or if you, uh, for your phone, if you need some navigation, it can sit on there. It doesn't sit particularly perfectly upright when it's on your handlebars, but it does a pretty good job for temporary uh, sort of navigation. It's got a couple of pockets on the side, which we don't use that often. You can whack a, a bar in the side, or a, a, a card if you have one, uh, like a credit card or something, but a bit too tight to really get anything else in. Two little loops for the uh, shoulder strap, which we never ever use either. Um, but we really like this. We like it because they're solid and they're waterproof. They also offer a bit of um, reflection here with the Thule uh, writing and that little silver thing there. The loop here is for a front light which we've never used because the ones we've got don't fit into there, the buckle gets in the way, so just be mindful of that if you are thinking of buying it specifically for that. But these are solid and robust. We've had two that we've used for the past three years pretty um, routinely and they're still going strong and they still do the job, so very happy with them. The next one is a saddlebag, which I appreciate is normally quite dull. Um, however, I was uh, surprised how good this was and I liked it for three reasons. The first one being these silver straps, the writing and on the back really are quite illuminative once it's uh, in the dark and gets the light shine on it. So from a safety point of view it's really good. Um, the second thing I like is the fact that it's the same material as the handlebar bag so it keeps everything nice and waterproof. Nothing worse when you go to repair a puncture or something on your bike you go in to get your tools uh, arrived from a few months ago when they got drenched, they're all rusty and all a bit horrible. This keeps them nice and dry, so really good. The final bit I quite like is a lot of them have this little loop on there that you can put your back light on. So this is a size small as well, another thing to bear in mind, this is a size small, which is probably on the normal to the big side for uh, saddlebar, saddlebar bags. So just bear that in mind, the large isn't really large enough for bike packing either. It's kind of in between the two. Um, I don't really see why you need it need it that size. Um, didn't think I'd be that interested in a saddlebar, saddlebag, but uh, yeah, surprisingly good. The next one is the Rail 8. So this is the hydration pack for cycling. Comes with its own little hydration pack here, which is pretty standard. However, the cool thing about it is there's a little magnetic strip on this red bit here. That goes onto the shoulder strap, like so, which is pretty cool. Other companies do have the magnet on the front. Um, it's pretty much the same, but it's a bit easier to attach on, I think, I found, compared to others. One things we, a few things we liked about this is that it sits quite snug to you when you're riding. Uh, it doesn't bounce around, and it really hugs around. These, these straps are really quite wide. They offer a bit of elasticity, and they, uh, and they won't really make it a secure fit, which is really cool. On the inside, it's what you'd expect, really, from a bike bag in terms of lots of components for your pump, your tools and what have you. It's got this so obviously the 8 being 8 litres, it does go up to 12 litres in the range as well. Um, and we've been really happy with it. The only thing that I wasn't too um, I found quite awkward is so on the side here there's a couple of pockets so you can put your phone in there if you wish, but it's quite hard to get anything out of it because it sits quite far back and quite snug. It's hard to get your hand around. If you've got better mobility than me, which most people do, it won't be an issue and you, you I have no idea what I'm on about, uh, but if you like me with tight shoulders, it's quite tough. Um, the only other thing to bear in mind is if you're getting this for your one bag that does everything, so you're running and you're cycling, well, I've been running with it and it's okay, uh, but it doesn't go as well as other running specific bags, and I'm guessing that's just because it's not as light as them. Um, I mean, 8 litres is fairly big um, 
for a running bag and because it's so comfortable and it fits so well I'm guessing it makes it a bit heavier so for running it's not ideal so if that was you, you could only buy one bag and you had to do all of it then potentially look elsewhere if you're looking for a specific bike in one definitely want to consider so the next two bags are from the crossover range this is the 25 litre rucksack uh, we use this a lot if we're going away for long weekends if we're going for a flight away and we've just got um, checked uh, sort of hand luggage sorry um, this is a really good bag and the reason I like it is main compartment is just a big big hole place to put your laptop and it's um, protected which is nice all the stuff on the outside all the little compartments and the places where you put your water bottle they all expand out so they don't compromise the space so you do actually have full use of the bag it sounds really simple but now go look at your rucksack and when you fill it up and you try and shove stuff into the pockets and into the other smaller compartments they tend to compress inwards and then you lose that space but you don't with this which makes it really cool few of the little so on the inside of these smaller ones same most two way stuff lots of little compartment zips which are all very handy and nice but you'd expect from a bag cool things that um, you don't get from other bags so on a flight you've whacked it in the top it's got a nice little handle here to pull out which I didn't think I'd use that much but it is quite handy it's got a glasses case at the top here so this is a little sales giz, uh, gimmick that was uh, that was used in the little blurb and I didn't think I'd really want it in fact I thought it'd be really annoying and I was kind of a bit annoyed that it was there however it's actually really handy the amount of times I've had my glasses out and I wanted to put them in somewhere but not brought my case this is really helpful if you decide you don't need this in so you get rid of the little protection you then just got an extra compartment so it's really quite versatile that which is cool and it also has I don't know if you'll be able to see it's got a little loop that if you can see that little loop that tethers on there and you can then obviously use a padlock on the zip and secure it away as well which is quite handy as with all Thule stuff on everything I say on my reviews <laughs> with this the Thule kit is it's really versatile this material is so strong we've had it for now a year and a half and it's done a lot of trips with us and it's still looking brand new which is ace uh, second piece from the crossover range is the 56 litre um, stroller we've got so it's got wheels on the back really cool thing here is that the um, the handle slide mechanism if I open it up um, which is quite handy and necessary but it's all on the outside so it doesn't take up space on the inside which is cool it's made up of two compartments you've got the bit underneath here with a little strap down and then you can see the netting to separate which is good and then you can gain access to the main compartment from here it has the same um, little space for your glasses if you wish and the same little hoop uh, loop thing that was on the rucksack as well two cool things I like about this so similar to this the rucksack is the material is really tough but the other thing I quite like about it from a luggage point of view is it's not heavy so this is 56 litres and if you've only got 20 kilo or 23 kilo for some of your, your, your flights you don't want it to be taken up by the, the actual uh, the luggage itself so that's really quite handy uh, we've used both of these just recently in a trip to Japan and uh, it's just really handy they really they work well like all Thule kit everything's been thought of there's a reason why they have that feature um, and they just look really stylish I'll, if you check out our Instagram you can see a few photos of the luggage when we were traveling and it just uh, it looks cool which is good so that's my whistle stop tour of the Thule luggage we've been using for the past two or three years let us know what you think in the comments below if you've got any questions or if I've said something which sounds outrageous and you completely disagree please let me know politely of course uh, you can check out our other videos uh, we've done one on the roof rack and bike racks that we have from Thule and we've done some other videos for our Marin bikes that we've been using for the past few years uh, you can check out our tours uh, for this year and for future years at mammothjourneys.com and you can follow all of our adventures on our social media pages as well thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll catch you in a bit bye, -bye.